Welcome to day two here in Ferring for the Electric Off-Road European Championships. Now, overnight, the track has changed. Let's find out how different it is this morning. How do you find the track? I think now it's much better than yesterday, so the rain helped the track, I think. Um, to be honest, considering it was so bad yesterday, it looks night and day better. I think it just be, will be a little bit slippery today. Um, maybe it's, you have to use new tyres. Straight looks really good, we've rolled it, but the rest of the track, which seems to have left, who knows what will happen. What's the hardest part of the track been for you? Uh, the hardest trip was yesterday, the whole trip. <laughs> I mean, it starts with a straightaway, there are some rocks on the straight, if you hit them, you make a front flip or back flip, break your car. Then the, the three fingers, because there was the, the edge was going really hard. The corner triple, like the three fingers on the corner. I think yesterday it was the, the small triple jump. What is it about that one corner that's, that's so difficult then? Uh, it's difficult to judge like the depth of it and the fact that the feature is not consistent across the track width. Because the, you cannot see right how is a car to the fingers and then you have a lot of speed and you cannot feel how is the car jumping. So here we are on the three fingers, the far side of the track, the difficult part of the track those drivers are talking about there. Now it's going to be really crucial to see how the cars get across this during the qualifying rounds and of course the main finals come up later on in the week. And then you have that stone straight in the middle of the track. This is a little bit difficult to drive because you the car is feeling a little bit edgy on the on the stones. You have to be a little bit uh, smoother through the corners. So all these stones on the track, they look easy, but that's very deceptive. We've seen the car sliding sideways as they lose traction coming through these low traction corners. Trying to get the power down as they come out of this tight hairpin and then onto the next straightaway, which again is covered in the bricks as well. So we can see how much the track has changed already and it's only practice rounds at the moment. We've got qualifying coming up later on today. Let's see what happens on the track. Stay tuned for all the news here in Ferring.